All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to make a little video about the Amex Gold card and why I think it's the best dining rewards credit card out there today. Now, before I jump into the meat and potatoes of this video, I want to say that I think the Amex Gold card complements the Amex Platinum in a really great way in that the American Express Platinum card does a great job with travel rewards and for everyday spending in terms of dining in supermarkets, the Amex Gold simply cannot be beat. Now, if you have both of these cards together to complement each other, I think this is one of the best setups that you can have. In addition, another reason that makes the Amex Gold so good is that when I have it together in my wallet and I have the Amex Platinum next to the Amex Gold, it almost looks like the Platinum is like a silver level card and the Gold is just a step above. And so when you have to pay for restaurants and when you're dining out with your friends or whoever it might be, when you pull out the Amex Gold, it's a good looking card. And not only does it look good, but it actually performs and you get great benefits out of it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the fact that Amex Gold has 4X points on dining. There are few other credit cards, if any, that have 4X points on any restaurant or dining service out there. This includes takeout, delivery, any service that you use to buy food. Those are all gonna be 4X points with the American Express Gold card. The next part of the point structure, which is pretty great, is that you get 4X points on supermarkets in the United States. Now this is capped up to $25,000 in purchases every year. But honestly, if you're spending more than 25K on purchases every year on groceries, I'm sure you're not worried about whether or not you're earning points in all those groceries. After you hit your 25K cap, you then get 1X on points for the rest of the year. The last part of the Amex rewards points that's pretty good with the Amex Gold is that you get 3X on points when you book travel through airlines directly or with amextravel.com. They have a pretty intuitive Amex travel portal, which is pretty easy to find flights. And if you are someone that travels, that is a good perk to have, in addition to the really good restaurant and supermarket bonuses. Now I wanna talk about what you guys are really here for, which is the benefits you get with having an Amex Gold. The point structure is great, but the annual fee credits and other bonuses you get as perks of having the card, are usually the main reason that somebody picks one card over another. We'll start off with the fact that the Amex Gold has an annual fee of $250. This is way lower than what the annual fee is for the Amex Platinum card, which is $695 every year. Especially if you're someone that doesn't travel as much and you're dining out plenty, I think the Amex Gold is a great alternative to the American Express Platinum card. But again, if you have them both in conjunction, they're really able to complement each other and you're able to maximize your benefits through all types of different spending. The standard welcome offer is 60,000 membership points, which is pretty good and has a valuation of almost $1,200 depending on what you look at. That being said, this is something I touched on in another video with the best offers right now for the Amex Platinum and the Amex Gold. But the best offer for the American Express Gold card right now is actually through a referral through someone that already has the Amex Gold. They have to have the elevated referral offer, which actually gives you 90,000 points as a welcome sign up bonus. If you don't already have a friend that has the Amex Gold card that's willing to refer you, my referral link is down below. So feel free to sign up using that and you should be able to use the 90,000 points when you sign up. In addition to the referral offer, American Express does have a partnership with Resi right now through their platform, which offers a pretty good sign-up bonus as well. Right now, they're offering 75,000 points for signing up, as well as 20% back on all dining purchases for the first whole calendar year. If you look at the Resi website, it's actually a much better offer than the Platinum card in terms of the length for the offer. It's 12 months to get that 20% back on up to $250 of credits. So if you do the math there, $250 in credits is almost equal to 25,000 points. And so if you add 25,000 points to 75,000 points, the sign up bonus is almost 100,000. If you guys do think you're able to maximize those dining credits during that first year, definitely use that link to sign up for the card. All you have to do is type in on Google, Resi and Amex, and you should see that offer pop up. Again, as of the making of this video, that still works, as does my referral offer of 90,000 points if that's the one that you decide to opt for. Now let's break down the key perks of having the Amex Gold. The first one's gonna be the $120 dining credit that you get when you spend at participating partners of American Express. These partners are gonna include Grubhub, Seamless, The Cheesecake Factory, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, certain Shake Shack locations, and Boxed. Personally, quite a few of these are places that I would already go to eat at and things that I would already be spending money on. So it's a great way for me to get some money back just by spending all my Amex Gold. The next one is gonna be the $120 credits for Uber Cash every year. This one's also broken up into $10 every month, which is very easy to remember. And the good part about this is that it doesn't have to be Uber Eats specifically. You can also use this on actual Uber rides. And so anything that's related to Uber that you spend on, you get $10 in credits every month for that. The next one's actually a travel credit, which a lot of people forget about because the Amex Gold is mainly for dining in supermarkets, but if you do have the Amex Plat and you have the Amex Gold, you wanna to remember to use this one. And that's the $100 of on-site credit through the Amex Gold when you stay at a hotel in Amex's hotel collection. 
I don't believe that you can double dip, as in using your $100 on-site credit with the Platinum card in addition to the Gold card $100 credit during one stay, but honestly, I can't see why you would need to do that. I think the best way to maximize this benefit is to use your Platinum card credit for one stay and then the Gold card credit for another if you have two stays in a given year. The next few are travel-related benefits that are definitely very useful if you don't have a Platinum card to complement the Amex Gold. The first one's gonna be baggage insurance. So if let's say you're traveling through an airline and they damage your luggage or it's lost or something terrible happens and you purchase that ticket with that airline on your Amex Gold, you're eligible for up to $1,250 of carry-on baggage and $500 of check baggage. You also get trip delay reimbursement, which is basically when you get delayed by an airline for more than 12 hours or something ridiculous like that. Then you get up to $300 for expenses, which is meals, other flights, transportation expenses, hotels, things like that. The last one is gonna be the rental car collision waiver, which is great because it's the same one that you get with the Amex Plat. And so essentially what this is, is anytime you rent a car and you use your American Express Gold card to pay for it, you don't have to purchase the rental car company's specific coverage for a collision. And if anything happens with the rental car, you can basically file a claim through Amex, through your gold card, and it should be covered. So once again, the list of benefits isn't half as long as the Platinum card or other premium rewards credit cards, which I think is great because it's very simple to use and it's hard to forget to use all the benefits like it would be for the Platinum card because it's such a long list and you really have to maximize all of them. If you do a quick calculation, not including the sign-up bonus, the $250 annual fee is easily covered just by the statement credits that you get for Uber Cash and the annual dining statement credit. One last thing to note is that there's no cap on the spend for restaurants and so that's the 4x points that you get on any dining. This also includes takeout and delivery as I mentioned previously and so basically during a given year if you spend 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars on restaurants there's going to be no cap on the rewards that you can earn on 4x points for your Amex Gold just because of the point structure. Once again overall a very easy to use card with an annual fee that's not too high as well as statement credits and benefits and rewards that you get with the card that easily make up for that annual fee and 4x on points on dining and supermarkets is just something that's hard to beat. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. Comment if you have any questions, I'll do my best to help where I can. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.